A family dealing with childhood cancer is getting some home upgrades thanks to a group of firefighters. Roseanne is live with this wonderful story for us this morning. Good morning, Roseanne. Well, good morning, Sylvia. Well, Isla is up now, four-year-old Isla and her mom, Danielle Dorsey, uh, joining us this morning to tell us about this effort. So, first of all, good morning. Thank you for talking to us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And you said you had ice cream for breakfast. What flavor did you say it was? Superman. Superman. And what is his name? Heather. What is it? Heather. Heather. Oh, her name. Excuse oh, me, no. Heather. <laughs> oh, it's a boy, Heather. Love it. So, Danielle, tell me a little bit about how you connected with this organization. Uh, obviously, Isla has been battling cancer for a year, and now you have this added challenge of a ne much needed home repair. How did you find out about Project Fire Buddies? Um, when Isla was first diagnosed, she spent a long time in the hospital. Um, she made it home for an hour before we had to call the paramedics. Um, Orland Fire came. Um, they brought us to the hospital. And then um, within the next week, um, I had a flyer in my mailbox, um, just Project Fire Buddies, what they are, and um, how we can get in touch with them. Right. And uh, Mark Hogan has been talking to us this morning. Uh, you were behind this. So how does it feel to ha have your crew here today with all these donated materials and labor to be putting a new roof on their home? It feels so good. It feels great to um, take that uh, that burden off of uh, Danielle and Isla and make sure that you know they're safe and their house is well protected so they can worry about the treatment. Right. And Danielle, how does that feel to know that, I mean, it starts with Mark, but there's been a huge team of people here today. Yeah, it's incredible. Hey, it's incredible. So and so it must be pretty heartwarming. Yes, yes. Um, you know, when I first found out that I needed a new roof, mine was literally sliding off of, off of my house. Um, it was just one of those moments, like, really now. And um, just from that moment, we really didn't have to think about anything else. Um, they stepped up pretty quick. So, Isla, how are you this morning? Hi there. I saw a picture of you dancing at a fundraiser. You have quite the dance moves. You want to show Do you her remember some dance that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still waking up this morning. The ice cream hasn't fully kicked in yet. But um, so, Mom, we understand your roof is going to be complete by the end of the day, and this headache will pass. So uh, ha I'm happy to hear that. Uh, congratulations on that, and I hope only the best for uh, Isla's treatment. What is her update? Thank you. She's doing really well. Um, she has one more overnight chemo. Um, this, is, this will be her last overnight stay before we start another year of treatment. Okay. Well, we're all pulling for Isla and your family. Thank you so much for talking to us, Project Fire Buddies. You guys are awesome. All firefighters are awesome. Good day uh, uh, to be out here with all of you. And we will be back with more Good Day after this.